So I'm noticing a common trend with Mortal Kombat leaks lately. So we'll get some kind of sprinkle throughout the week maybe, but then sooner, never fails Monday morning. Of course, most times I can't cover that because I work, but never fails Monday morning, we get a leak from 4chan. And sure enough, even though it was July 4th, Mortal Kombat leaks didn't take a holiday. So we have one from user The End Is Here. Not anonymous, not Thoth, somebody different, somebody different. <laughs> but it's not all just Mortal Kombat 2023. But there is so many details in here and we've got to go over them. So let's get to it. So it says the title is not Mortal Kombat 12, but it's clever and references the plot. I can dig that. You know, we know that Mortal Kombat 12 is going to revolve around possibly the time travel or messing with time, really, as far as Luke, uh, God, the part of God, Luke King. Messing with the timeline and going back to where he has talks to Great Kung Lao and probably the repercussions of that. So that's going to be very interesting. And that goes with the next line, which is talking about Kung Lao is a new hero of the story. Obviously, the Great Kung Lao, his lineage, cousins, family, whatever. It also goes to say that Raiden is a master at the Wuxi Temple. He is immortal thanks to Liu Kang, but depowered still. Very interesting dynamic that we'll hopefully get to see in the game play out as far as Raiden. What that's like for him. Uh, it says he is not playable, but is present throughout the story as a mentor figure in the soft reboot. I think that's really interesting. Oh, I read that online. Sorry. Is a mentor figure. I think that'll be really interesting because he's a mentor to Liu Kang. He was also a mentor to the great Kung Lao and all of Earthrealm's heroes throughout the many generations and years of Mortal Kombat. So it'll be interesting to see how this new dynamic with Raiden, if it is true to see that he is going to be immortal, but has no powers. It'll be interesting to see that. So the next line I skipped ahead and read is, it's a soft reboot. You know, I don't know what to say about these reboots. A lot of these games uh, that are coming out, they're like reboots and reboots and reboots are trying to revamp. I think Mortal Kombat 11, I think, did a pretty good job of breathing new life into the franchise. I think we can just continue from that. I don't know what that would be a soft reboot. I think just continue the story, do some updates and upgrades to the game engine and stuff like that and graphics, and then I just call it a day, you know? It's already going to be on the next-gen platform, so I don't really know that we need something too crazy. Uh, it says, game features a run mechanic, which we've heard that on a previous leak that I covered. It says, has been tested this year several times. Hmm. Didn't we also cover a leak recently about somebody playtesting Mortal Kombat 12, potentially? Here you go. It says, one of the new characters is a new outworld creature resembling a werewolf. Its beta name is Rain? Rene? Rainy? Sorry, I'm probably mispronouncing that. Ronnie? I don't know. Something like that. What I find interesting is that the previous leaks I talked about, we had two new characters, and now we have another new character. And this one is a werewolf. Now, what's interesting is, I know that some tweets that Ed Boon has talked about recently, he's hinted at Killer Instinct possibly making a, you know, a drop into Mortal Kombat. Maybe we're going to get a character based off of that. We have a female version of night wolf that we could see so maybe this could be a play on that i'm down for really for whatever but i don't know if we really need new characters i as i said in my last video about the leaks we have a ton of characters that we have not yet seen crossover from mk4 other mk games let's bring them into the you know give them some new life let's bring them into the game a little bit you know there's even game characters like havoc and the whole backstory of the chaos realm and all that stuff the blood magic let's get some of that in there i want to see some of that let's see scorpion is alive and in the story, oh, Scorpion is alive in the story and never dies, as are his wife, child, and clan. This is very interesting. Obviously, we know that if he's going back in time, this would be Fire God Liu Kang, he's messed with the timeline, maybe that's allowed Scorpion to live a different life. And that would be very interesting, too. That kind of goes hand in hand with what the next line is. It says, Bihan is the Grandmaster of the Link Way and is not dead. His younger brother has just taken on the moniker of Zub Zero. Very, very interesting because, you know, Bihan, after he was killed by Scorpion, became new Cybot. So if that never happened, that means his brother never had to really avenge his death, which means he's probably not a good guy this time around. So very interesting. I like that dynamic. The Link Way is always a interesting uh, characters to have in the game. I would love to see that happen as far as being able to play as a live Bihan and then have the regular is up zero. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Now this part right here sounds familiar. I posted a picture in the thumbnail, which if you read this line, you're like, mm-hmm, this looks familiar. The boss is an elder god. His name is Darius or Darius. He has red skin, gold-plated armor, and a gold helmet. 
His shoulder pads feature decorative snakes. He is rebelling against the false god, Liu Kang, in the story. Interesting. So he is pictured on my thumbnail. I'll try to put a picture in as I'm talking about this, but it was a Mortal Kombat 11 render that was found on Reddit of this amongst other elder gods. And it's interesting that this would be a character that we'd have as a boss. You know, many were hoping that maybe Onaga would come back in some form or faction or Blaze or, you know, something like from Armageddon, you know, something of that nature. Possibly even some elder gods we've never heard of, you know, or even some more Titans. You know, we've there's been so many scenarios that have happened in leaks. It could be any one of those possibilities. But, you know, if they've done some renderings in the past that have kind of hinted at other characters, why not make them playable or, you know, make them bosses in the future game? I think I'd be down for that. We know that there are other Elder Gods that exist. I mean, Shinnok was, was an Elder God and he, you know, rebelled and did his own thing. So why can't other ones do that? It's possible. They're not all going to be happy that Liu Kang is Fire God Liu Kang. So it's possible. Now it goes on to say that the base roster is 24, features the Return of Smoke, finally, Kotal Khan, Riku, uh, Reptile, Fujin, Goro, Quan Chi, We'd love to see Quan Chi come back. Sonya, Aaron Black, Jax, and Johnny. Johnny Cage. Uh, you know, interesting on here, none of the kids are mentioned. I know a lot of people have all been commenting on my videos talking about, you know, where's where's Jackie? Where's Cassie? You know, where are they at? Where are the other kids from Mortal Kombat X? Interesting stuff. I don't know if we'll see them again. I mean, I think we'd have to. They were part of the story. Unless going back in time made them not so. I mean, it's possible. We could always see that play out. But very interesting. Uh, you know, from overall from this, I feel like that's a lot of details to go through. I mean, that's why I title it Massive Detail Leak. Because there's a ton of details here. And there's a ton of things to work with. I think at this point with some of the Mortal Kombat 12 leaks, there's a lot of them are sounding very much the same. We know that's going to happen around the Great Kung Lao. We know that they're going to feature certain mechanics returning from previous games. I like the idea of introducing new characters, but I don't know if I really want to see that happen because we, like I said, we have a ton of people in the roster that have never made it to the next gen games. I'd love to see that happen, but if we get new characters, as long as they fit right into the story, I'm okay with that. Uh, I like the idea of having, which I would think would be possible, you know, just as I've said before, when it comes to like the MCU and the multiverse and how you do certain things that change people's lives, the part about Scorpion and Behind and the uh, younger brothers of Zero, the, as far as their lives being changed and altered by what Liu Kang did, and that sitting on a different path, having repercussions and obviously different outcomes and interactions with characters. I mean, that is a massive story undertaking right there. I mean, if you really think about it, if you had your main group of heroes either somehow go back in time with Liu Kang, or maybe they somehow Liu Kang recruits them again. You know, it's very interesting. I, I, I didn't really think about that. You know, if Liu Kang took everybody back or if he just turned back time himself, do only certain people know that he did that? Like Raiden and some of the Earthrealm heroes, he like preserve their memory so that way they know what he did or is everybody starting fresh? Maybe that's the soft reboot they're talking about. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. That's I didn't think about that till now. One of the comments below, I know, I mean, we talked about so many leaks now. It's kind of like, they're kind of merged together a little bit, so I forget some of the details, but that's very interesting. I never thought about that. Uh, one of the comments, what you think about that thought? Do you think that the Earthrealm heroes know that Liu Kang turned back time? Do you, you know, if I could turn back time, do you think that they know that he did that? I mean, do you think that he's going to recruit some people new? I mean, obviously, if he's going to the Great Kung Lao, is he like going to like train him and then bring him to the more modern day? It's very interesting. I never really thought about that. That'll be interesting to see. So we think about this leak. We think about the details. Like I said, it's chock full of good stuff. We think about the new character. We think about the boss being the Elder God uh, Darius or Darius. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for this video, guys. Make sure that like button. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time on the mashup.